The school education department, Government of Andhra Pradesh, is installing 1 lakh biometric attendance machines in 41,601 government schools across the state to enable e-hazard attendance tracking using biometric systems. These systems use biological traits such as fingerprints and iris patterns of the eye for the purpose of identification. It is important to know or be aware of which application is being utilized in particular district. It is mandatory for all the students and the teachers in all categories of government managed schools to mark their daily attendance through these e-hazard devices. The biometric device is handled at the school by the headmaster or teacher. He or she will authenticate through iris or fingerprint of the device. The device should be handled with utmost care. It should not be dropped, scratched or subject to any misuse. It should be stored in safe place after utilization. The device may be affixed to a wall or placed on a table or can be taken to each class for taking attendance of the students and teachers. The Aadhaar card data of all the students and teachers is accessed by the device from the central server for authenticating attendance in real time. This is the process wherein Aadhaar number along with biometrics or demographics is submitted to UIDAI's Central Identities Data Repository CIDR for verification well in advance. CIDR verifies whether the data submitted matches the data available in CIDR and responds with only yes or no. Based on the Aadhaar seeded student ID details, a QR code is generated for every student and is printed and stuck on the notebook or pad. The students are to authenticate their attendance once in the morning. The teachers are to authenticate their attendance twice a day, morning and evening, through the e-hazir devices. The existing physical attendance system may also be continued till the e-hazir system stabilizes. If data services are disturbed and not working for some reason, the headmaster may contact the support person or raise his or her query or concern online in the request tracking system RTS at www.cse.ap.gov.in and in the device itself. Process for biometric attendance For giving attendance, each student and each teacher is required to get a scan of their fingerprints done which is loaded into the machine or device. Ways to ensure that there is no problem in giving e hazard is to keep the hands clean and free of dirt. In case of dry fingers, lightly moisten with wet cloth or tissue. In case of wet or sweaty fingers, gently wipe hands dry. Apply gentle pressure on the device with fingertip. Use finger top only for thumb or for finger. In case there is a repeated failure of biometric authentication of any particular student or teacher, the iris based device should be used and attendance is to be given through the scanning of the eye of the student or teacher. For biometric iris authentication, keep head upright, keep in line with the device, look straight open eye wide as if you are angry maintain one feet distance from eye to the tab when the distance and eye alignment is in order the green light flashes do not handle or touch the iris camera or device appropriate action is required to be taken against various error codes relating to e hazard applications developed by AP Online and CGG.
AP Online Application. Click the login button. One time authentication for device tagging. School headmaster or teacher need to enter their Aadhaar number for authentication and device tagging. After entering the Aadhaar number, then click on Proceed button for verifying the teacher details. After that, it will show the teacher and school information. If information is correct, click on Proceed button for verifying with Aadhaar and initializing the device. Then you come to the home page where the data of your school is displayed. Here you will see four buttons. Attendance Capture Update Student Role ID and Section Reports Data Sync To update Student Role ID and Section, click on Update Student Role ID and Section. Select the Class ID. The list of students enrolled with their respective IDs appear on the screen. Now, enter the section and roll IDs of all the students. This done, click Submit. This is now successfully uploaded. Click Back button. You come on the home page. Go to Data Sync and click. Here, click the Download Student Master. This is a one-time process to enroll student ID and section in the app. Please do not try to repeat it if the student is already enrolled. Click the Attendance Capture button. The screen that appears will display Enter ID. Enter Roll ID in the field. The details of that ID will appear on the screen. Click Verify button and place your finger on the fingerprint scanner or if it's iris device, hold the device till the iris is detected. It will verify your details with Aadhaar server. If the verification is successful, you will see a tick mark on the screen. This indicates that the student or teacher details matched with the Aadhaar server. If you would like to update the student role ID or section, then click the Update Student Role ID and Section in Home page. After clicking this button, you can edit the Role ID and Section and make the changes. Once this is done, click the Submit button. If you would like to see the reports, then click the Reports button in Home page. Choose the category from the list given. Based upon the category selected, the reports will appear on the screen. CGG Application In Iris device, this app is available in the Play Store. Please click the app. Type CSEAEBAS. Now download it by clicking on it. In Biometric device, this app is available in the Play Store. Please click the app. Type CSEAEBAS. Now download it by clicking on it. Open app. Launch the app with Government of AP logo with name APSEDAEBAS. Touch the icon to open the app. Device initialization process. When the app opens, a pop-up window appears on the screen asking for permission to access the biometric scanner attached to the device tab. Now select the checkbox and click OK. To initialize the device, you need to first key in 11-digit UDISE code. This is your school code. To identify student, Key in number 4 and number 7 to identify teacher. This done, click on Initialize. Then the screen will show option to authenticate teacher of same school by providing his or her 
7 digit treasury ID. The device is now initialized for your screen. The screen displays your school name on the top. This is red in color. The option to capture attendance of student or teacher. Virtual keyboard to key in the number along with QR scanning facility. Biometric authentication. Select student to mark or or select teacher to capture the attendance of the teachers. Based on the option selected, corresponding screens are displayed. For student or teacher, number of digits to be entered are restricted since it is already configured during the process of initialization. Once you key in the required number of digits or scan the QR provided to the student or teacher, biometric scanner will be enabled along with the voiceover Please place the finger. Red colored light starts glowing on the biometric scanner to capture the fingerprint. Place the finger on the biometric scanner till the red colored light goes off on the biometric scanner. Once the fingerprint is captured successfully, a request is sent to server to authenticate and mark the attendance for the student or teacher if the authentication is successful. Based on the data entered, authentication response or status of the attendance marked for the day following results appear. The whole process of authentication per student or teacher takes less than 20 seconds.